this is Gadget Stop 321 in today's video I'm taking a look at an accessory that I picked up for my boogie board blackboard and it's a folio case and I was excited when I saw this at Staples with the boogie board blackboards because I've always thought my boogie board is so thin and just feels so dainty and frail that I'm always telling my daughter be careful with that. It just feels like it could snap so easily. I, I've i been using this. My daughter and I have both been using it for a year and a half, and it doesn't have any damage, but it's just so light and thin. Now, the first thing I noticed is these two feel about the same weight. The, the folio feels like it's about the same weight as the blackboard. So it's going to double the weight of your boogie board, but it's very light to begin with. Now, you notice it's just going to cover the screen. And I didn't know how I felt about that at first, but I think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, uh, it feels like it's held together with magnets. Let's see. Got a little protective foam on the inside and some silica. And I got this idea from someone. I was always kind of disappointed that you couldn't slide the unused template in the back. Now, you still can't slide it in, but you can kind of put it in the little cutout in the back. Let me try to get it in there. And then just store it behind your boogie board. Now, this little tab here is the middle tab is spring loaded. You just pull that out. And so you've got these three tabs that hold it in and You've got some magnets that hold it closed. And so now you've still got access to your pen. The pen is held on there by magnet or you can clip it on there still. And now you've got some structure to this. The I'm not going to be as likely I will probably not be telling my daughter all the time, you know, be careful with that. You've got some support behind it. I don't feel like she's going to uh, damage the screen any. So, I, I'm pretty fond of this folio. Now, I saw some on Amazon, I saw some, uh, like, slip cases, some little sleeves for putting this in. That's another option, but I, for, for adding some sturdiness to the boogie board, I really like this. And another thing that I thought of, uh, you've got the uh, agenda template that you can put like a week's calendar on. And I never had any way to uh, like hang this up on the refrigerator. One of my wishes was that there were magnets on the back of this that you could stick it on a refrigerator or at least a little hole in the back where you could stick a nail in the wall or something. Somehow hang it up since it's a blackboard, but there's not anything like that. But if you can stand it up. Now, on this slippery desk, it's not wanting to stay. It's kind of slippery. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, let me take the pencil off. It's crooked. And let's see. You can hang your pencil up there. It's not too bad. On a on this slippery desk, it, if you bump it, it might fall. But my table that I keep this on downstairs has like a little doily on it. So I... Hey. That's a nice, let me see, and 
And so you could leave a note or use the little agenda template. That's kind of nice. I like this. Now, the boogie board itself, this size, let me show you. This is the size of a legal pad. Okay. This one is $40. And the folio was $14. Now, for what it does, some people kind of complain that's a lot for what it does, but my daughter and I just love this thing. It's fun to use. Uh, I use it for brainstorming things for my classroom, and she uses it for practicing math problems. Um, there's also, I noticed, I'm not sure how long this one's been out, but there's a smaller version of the boogie board blackboard. It's not just the regular boogie board. It's the blackboard that has the erase feature where you can erase, you know, one little part of the display. And it's about half this size. Now, the uh, legal pad size is $40. The one that's half that size is $30. And you can get a little folio case for that. I don't remember off the top of my head how much that the little folio was. But for, in my opinion, I think it's best to go ahead and go with the bigger one. You've got more writing space. This, the pen writes kind of broad. So, you know, I, I like this bigger size. Uh, but if you need, if there's some reason that you need a smaller one, a more portable one, now you've got that option. And so I'm, this is one of my, uh, Actually, it's not. What am I talking about? This isn't one of my first back-to-school purchases. I've been buying stuff all summer. But um, I really like this. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.